In this video, we're going to look at applications of the net change in future value problems to problems other than those involving um, velocity. So in our first example, we have a fluid flow problem. We're told that water flows from the bottom of a storage tank at a rate given by R of t equals 200 minus 4t liters per minute, where t is between 0 and 50. And we're interested in finding the amount of water that flows from the tank during the first 10 minutes. So the reason I highlighted some of these different pieces is that amount is telling us we're looking for a quantity. So we're going to need to integrate a rate in order to answer that, that quantity question. And we're also told that we're looking for an amount um, during a certain period of time. So that's going to mean over an interval. So this is going to be a net change problem and not a future value problem. I'm not interested in the, the value of the quantity at a particular time, but rather the amount of water, in this case, that's flowing out of this tank over a whole um, interval. So here we're interested in, um, let's see, computing this, this net change over the first 10 minutes. So this will be an integral from 0 to 10 of this rate of 200 minus 4t dt. So if I think of this r of t as my q prime of t, my q of 10 minus q of 0, okay, the amount of water flowing from the tank during um, that 10 minute interval will be given by this integral from 0 to 10 of 200 minus 4t. So this will be 200t minus 4t squared over 2 evaluated from 0 to 10, where I'm going to have um, 2,000 here minus 2 times 100 minus 0 minus 0. So we have our final answer here of 1800 liters is the amount of water that's flowing from this tank over that interval from 0 to 10 minutes. Um, Notice that the, the calculation involved here um, is not too complicated, but the, the big idea is knowing what sort of formula you need to use to get started. So let's look at one more example. So in this example, we're dealing with a uh, population question. So we're told that when records were first kept, and that will be um, what represents our t equals 0, the population of a rural town was 250 people. During the following years, the population grew at this rate here that's given to us as p prime of t equals 30 times 1 plus the square root of t, where t is measured in years. So we're interested in um, answering the question, what is the population after nine years? And then finding the population in general um, for some time t. So the population after nine years, this is asking us a future value question. We want to know what the population is at a particular time. So this is asking us to find p of 9. Um, so we could do this problem by finding p of t and then finding p of 9. Um, this also just gives us practice with um, finding the, the future value at a particular number using the formula and then finding um, the general population p of t where you have to use that sort of dummy variable of x within the integral. So let's look at solving part a first. I'm trying to find the population p of 9, the population after 9 years. So that's going to be the initial population plus the amount that the population changed by in the first 9 years. So plus the integral from 0 to 9 of p prime of t dt. So this is the initial plus the change over the first 9 years. So if we were just asked a net change question, it could be just asking us about this piece. But we're asked for a future value, so I need to add the initial value to the amount of, of change that occurred. So this is going to be this 250 as the initial value, plus my integral from 0 to 9 of 30 times 1 plus root t dt. So I have 250 plus 30 times t plus, sorry, this is just a little messy over here. So that's t to the um, 3 halves divided by 3 halves or times 2 thirds. They evaluated from 0 to 9. So let's go ahead and do the arithmetic here. Notice that 9 to the 3 halves is going to be equal to 9 to the 1 half cubed. So that's the square root of 9, which is 3, and then cubed, which is 27. So this is 250 plus, and notice this is the only part that we're um, plugging in those bounds into, so this is plus 30 
times 9 plus, let's see, that'll be 2 times 27 over 3, or 2 times 9, so that's 18. And then that would be minus 30 times 0. So we have 250 plus, this will be 30 times um, 27, so that will be equal to 810. And we'll have this population then of 1,060 people after 9 years. Okay. If I wanted to answer this question about what p of t is equal to, then I'm trying to give my answer um, in terms of t, not in terms of a, a number of people. So this was my part A. My part B here, p of t is equal to my initial population plus an integral from 0 to t of 30 times 1 plus root x dx. So we'd have 250 plus I see that my antiderivative would be x plus 2 thirds x to the 3 halves there. And this would be evaluated from 0 to t. So we'd have 250 plus 30 times t plus 2 thirds t to the 3 halves minus 0. So you would get your population at time t would be determined by the following formula. Notice that if we plug in t equals 9 into this, of course, we should get that 1,060 people that we got in part A.